right, my five minute timer's up. I did go in here with a pair of clippers and cut that little plastic tab off there. And I'm not going to show the process on all three of these because it's exactly the same and that would be a waste of everyone's time. But this hair here feels really nice and smooth on Chloe. But here's what you want to do. I don't use a brush at all, but if you absolutely positively must, this is a very good one. I'll put the name of the brush and the link where to buy it in there. I can't even read it. This is actually a dog brush and then it tips on the pins. This is a pin brush are rounded so it doesn't hurt the dog or this is actually mine that I use on my hair and I'm old. I'm 63 and my hair is almost down to my waist. So we can keep hair in this house. But anyway, if you feel you have to have a pin brush, this is the one I would recommend. This is the full size and it comes in a smaller one too. Very good brush. I believe the seller has them on Amazon, but here's your pin brush. Or no, here's what I call a roller comb because it has the rolling pins, okay? And I see so many people do this. Oh, no, 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 don't do this. Always start at the tips, never at the roots. And what you do is comb a little bit at a time. Slowly, see how nicely that's going through there? and work your way up slowly. You never start up where the hair is rooted. That is how you rip out handfuls of hair. And I'm just going to go all around there carefully. Okay, and once I've done that, then I use my rat tail because, let me show them together here why it's as much finer spacing on it. Okay, and once again, at the tips. I know it's a really hard habit to break if you've done it for years. But please break that habit. And here you can see where they have this part rooted in. It'll be double rooted so I'm not doing very well with finding it there and trying to watch what I'm doing on the camera. But anyway, there it is. And since we've combed through gently, we can go the whole way up here then and do it. And then what I kind of like to do is just comb her hair down and sit her. Or if they're tall, they have to be stood up so the hair will just hang flat. Now, boil washing, I don't know. You know, I have very mixed feelings on boil washing. If you want the hair super straight, yes, you might be able to achieve it, but not always. Also, if you're setting a curl, that's how you do it. And uh, there again, there are different ways that uh, they do it. Some let the water cool down a little bit. Some only use very hot water but it depends on the melting point of the saran, which varies, and I don't know what the specific melting point on this is. So again, I would urge caution when you do that. But it's a new experience to me because I've not worked with saran hair previously. Mostly I was doing original doll wigs with mohair, but as you see there, I started out with my rat tail, but let's do this. Now I can feel already her hair feels much better. So, and since it is a little, I can feel that, I didn't rinse it out first. I'm leaving the conditioner in and combing through. And you can do it that way, but the only thing is it's a little messy. But we're right here over the sink, so it's not really going to make any difference. And you can see here there's ends there and those are going to have to be trimmed once we're done with the hair. And I don't know that there's any way of avoiding that. Yeah, if you feel resistance, just back off a little bit and go down lower. 
which I did there. I felt a little, but I can just feel that her hair is so much better from having that conditioner in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and rinse my comb. And then you don't want to let this lay around someplace where it's wet. You want to lay it on a clean, dry towel and dry it off. Do that, and then I'm just going to rinse this excess conditioner off. The other thing is when you boil wash and you have bangs, you have to be careful with that. I see a lot of people put their dolls in face down, and I frankly don't think that's a good idea. Um, it concerns me a little that it could damage the paint. I mean, I've done it. Has it damaged the paint? No. But I would be cautious doing that, especially if you're doing repaint. I just don't know how well that seals on there. I like to torture test. You know, some poor victim before I recommend doing it. But anyway, that's washed out now. So the conditioner. And I'm just going to take this down through. And oh, yeah, that's like 100% better than what it was. But anyway, these bangs, it, if you get these sticking up when you boil wash it, then they're going to be set like that. So uh, that would be a no-no you do not want to do. Bangs are, are no good. And, and you can take and put a band on here um, and let it air dry. That's generally what I do. Or if you put something even wider on there and press those down. But these are good. They just need a little tiny trim here. I can see it. Just a few little tiny bits there if you look really closely. Okay, so I'm going to let these girls air dry. I'll finish up with Megan. I'm not going to show her because it's just the same way it's done. And I hope this maybe helps someone. So have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.